What is up guys, it is Nistro here, and today I just want to do a video on uh, how to link summon, because, you know, uh, there may be some people still confused out there, I'm pretty sure everybody gets it, and, you know, this this isn't a video, you know, for you, if you already know, you know, what it's like to link summon and everything about it, this isn't going to be a discussion video, it's simply just going to be a, kind of a tutorial, uh, what you would call it, I'm, I'm more just going to be explaining, but, you know, you can cons uh, consider it a tutorial uh, on how to link summon. Uh, so pretty much, uh, there's three new things that, uh, were added to the game with Link Monsters. So the first one is, um, Link Monsters themselves, all right? So the addition of Link Monsters, and I'll tell you how to summon them. The second thing that was, uh, that was changed about the game is the addition of the extra monster zone. Yeah, that's actually a real big deal. And the third thing, um, is the nerf to pendulums, uh, changing the pendulum zones uh, from the from where they originally were um, to the uh, most left and most right um, spawn trap card zones on your spawn trap cards uh, um, on your own side of the field. So it's um, it's kind of like a nerf to pendulums because it's like they can't play as much back row with a pendulum monster. And uh, Konami did say that they wanted us to be. Um, to really like think about uh, our zones, uh, the way I think about it, it's kind of like uh, it's 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 almost like we're we're mixing the game of like chess or something because now we have to not only do we have to worry about how like how we play the game, but you know the zones we we put our cards in, you know, just like in chess, you have to worry or checkers, you have to worry about what zones you put your pieces in to make sure you don't um, end up uh, contradicting yourself or you know ruining your own um, plays. Um, by putting the wrong thing in the wrong zone. So, first off, we go uh, Link Summoning. So, Link Summoning is pretty simple. Um, it's kind of like Synchro Summoning, except without levels. Uh, the material required, uh, required are actual monsters, um, any monsters. Um, and depending on the requirements of the Link monsters, um, it, uh, the, the materials may change. So the most so the first one we saw was Decode Talker, right? It requires two or more effect monsters, and it's a Link Three monster. So remember that um, a Link monster will always have um, material. Uh, I mean arrows um, uh, equal to the number of materials that they have. So um, Decode Talker is a Link Three, so it has three arrows: um, diagonally um, left down, diagonally right down, and diagonally. Up. I mean, not diagonally up, but just up um, on your opponent's board as well. So, um, how it works is you pretty much send monsters face up on your side of the field um, to uh, that match the um, uh, what's needed for the link monster to summon the link monster. So, if you have, so if the link monster says two or more effect monsters like Deco Talker, but it's a link three. What, what you need to do is uh, each monster is treated as one link. Um, so you would need to send three effect monsters from your side of the field to the graveyard. And uh, we, it's not 100% confirmed, but I'm assuming that if you use Pendulum, the Pendulum goes face up to the extra deck. And it has been told that you cannot use tokens as well. So pretty much you send three face up monsters to your control, effect monsters to your control to the graveyard to summon a decode talker. And so what happens then is a deco talker is a link three that uh, has the three zones, um, one on your opponent's uh, side of the field, one diagonally down and one diagonally right. Um, and uh, you can only summon monsters from uh, the extra deck in uh, the zones that they, that um, link monsters point to. So if you don't have um, any um, extra um, any link monsters on, on board, then you can only summon out, uh, an extra deck monster into your extra deck zone, which is, uh, the second thing that, it, that they added into the game. So, um, another thing about link monsters is that one, they can't be put into defense mode and they cannot change position at all. They have zero defense 
well, not zero defense, but no defense at all. Like, literally, it's not even on the card. And, uh, and uh, they cannot change spell position, which means quaking is going to go down, and regular mirror forces are going to start going up. Um, probably storming might be the best mirror force. I, I, I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm just going to use the original, honestly. But <laughs> uh, with the fact that they can't be changed to defense mode, um, it, it does kind of change the game a bit. It's like we we've never had cards that you know that literally. Like their condition is that they cannot be changed to defense mode. You know, this this it's always been like an effect where you can't change the mission. Like this time, it's a condition. Like you can't even you can't target them with Book of Moon or anything. You know, um, so yeah. Um, but if you have so link monsters, so every single monster counts as one link uh, with link monsters. So if you have three monsters, then it's three links, and you know you go to, into Deco Talker. But um, as we go into the future.